Hello everybody, it's Jacob from Wager Me This here. Um, first thing I want to do before we get into any strategy is a big thanks to everybody that's already donated to the archery team. Um, it's already taken off really quickly. The guys, this is going to be a huge help, ladies too. It's going to be a huge help for uh, some of these people, uh, families that, you know, need a little help with this. Um, and, and again, guys, you guys are actually helping these kids, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm uh, I'm putting in already for, I've already paid for three of the kids, so uh, myself personally, so I'm trying to do all I can too. I just can't pay for everybody. That's why I asked you guys for your help. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Um, if you're interested in helping out with this archery team, and guys, let me explain if you didn't watch the last video. Um, my son's elementary archery team, Cedar Ridge Elementary, uh, here in Arkansas has made the regional tournament in Kentucky. Um, obviously, if they do well there, they go to a national tournament that's likely in Florida, but that's down the road. Um, what this is, this is uh, everything basically on the east side of the country. Uh, everyone that qualified comes down to this tournament um, in Louisville, Kentucky, and they shoot against each other. Um, so it's a big deal. A lot of the people, kids that end up winning these things, they end up later on in life getting archery scholarships and stuff to college so it's a big deal to be good at this um obviously uh my son is really good at it um but you got to have a team score and a team score is um six six shooters but it has to be at least two girls um so that's kind of the case here i got to get at least that many people here our team has 14 people on it I'm trying to raise enough money to at least pay for the hotel rooms for all 14 uh, families. That's my first goal. My second goal um, would be to give everyone some gas money. So that's what you guys' money is going to. I really appreciate it. It's really just 13 families because it's not me. Um, either way, we we're going to go. I just, I just don't want my son to have to compete individually only, right? Because it's an individual competition as well as a team competition. So again, guys, thank you for your uh, support in this. If you're interested in helping out, guys, uh, your donations are going to get you put into a drawing where I'm going to give away personalized merchandise, um, hoodies, hats, stuff like that, where um, you get in contact with me. You tell me what you want on it. I've done this for other people, guys. I want to I want to put something else, something else out. Um, a lot of channels have a lot of merchandise out there. I do not. Um, most of the merchandise I have, I keep. Um, I wear myself a handful of people out in the world have some of my merchandise so in our world in our craps nation community this community um, my merchandise is kind of rare um, I did have a store for a while but I shut it down and mostly it's because I, I wanted my merchandise to be special that way um, it meant something when you got it you couldn't just go order it right so that's what I got here guys it'll be personalized however you want it um, I've had people put you know pound the don'ts you know an az follower and i've had um another guy a sports betting thing um where i, I put on that he was the you know uh the the nfl bracket champion and just different things that i've done um guys another thing i want to point out is there's no hats out there that say wager me this on them except for the two that i own so when i give you a hat it's very specific to me. So I just want to point that out, guys. So this, in our community, in our world, um, this stuff will be unique, right? Uh, I have some shirts, but a handful of people have a shirt. Uh, most people don't. There, I think I might have 10 shirts out there. Um, so again, if you guys are interested, any donation of any size gets you entered into the drawing. Um, if I get if I get in there, I may wait the donations a little bit, but I didn't say that from the beginning, so maybe not. Um, but you're going to be entered, and um, you'll just be eligible to win. And um, most likely, um, I'll do it in levels. So far, uh, the donations altogether have equaled just over a thousand dollars. So that's awesome. Appreciate you guys. Um, and what I'll, what I'll do is, um, I'll, I'll give something away for every five hundred dollars donated. So that's how we'll do it. I'll give a prize winner. Again, guys, you I've had people donate all the way from uh, $10 to $100 so far. So, fantastic. Thank you guys again. If you're interested in donating, 
if you're interested in being in the contest to win my merchandise, um, the link will be in the description. Thank you guys again. So let's get into the strategy. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about, see, I have a $300 bankroll, guys. I'm going to do some lower, some smaller, low roller type bankrolls uh, for the next couple videos, just because I think we don't touch on this enough. Um, a lot of people don't have a thousand dollars to put on the table. So $300 is relatively reasonable. Um, most car payments are over $300 anymore. So $300 really isn't all that much money. Um, but I specifically want to talk about the don't. A lot of people that play with shorter bankrolls, they don't ever like to play the don't. And most of the reason is they don't like the come out. So today, um, my goal is to prove to you guys that the come out isn't all that big of a deal. I'm not going to hedge none of it out. I'm not going to play the 11 or the 7s. I'm just going to play the don't. And I'm going to make one slight adjustment is when I... When I lose, I'm going to go up a little bit. So I'm going to start like we're at a $10 table. Obviously, you have $300 bankroll. You should be at a $10 table or less. I'm going to start with $10. If I lose, I'm going to go to $15. Then if I lose again, I'll maybe go to $25. And then when I win, um, I'll just stay at that level and see how many times I can win. And guys, with $300, you shouldn't be looking to profit very much. If you, if you profit 50 bucks. You did great. If you profit seventy dollars, you did amazing, right? If you profit a hundred dollars, that's thirty-three percent profit. But anyway, so this video is mostly about just wanting to show people that are short bankrolled that don't be afraid to play the don't. Now I know some people have other aversions to it; they think it's playing against the table or whatever, and that's fine. But I know a lot of people just don't like to come out. So here we go: ten dollars on the don't. Let's get some dice. I'm just going to randomly shoot them like I normally do. Because um, let's be honest, guys. Most people are just randomly shooting them. Here we go. Coming out. Whoa. Straight up the table. First thing. That's kind of crazy. I lost that one. I don't even know where it went. Try this again. Grab another dice. And we got a seven on the camera. There we go. And that's right now all them people that don't like us. Well, see? See, I told you. That's fine, guys. It's the cost of doing business on the belt. We're going to 15. <clears throat> you are going to have a handful of them. Not a lot, though. Six tray nine. All right, so if we win here, we're up five bucks. So that's why progressing it up a little bit. It's not a ladder system, so to speak, but just giving yourself a chance to win some of the money back. You don't got to win it all back. Every roll. Six, four, ten. Guys, if I start coughing, sorry. Um got a little cold from my kids one two three so again we're just looking I'm just mostly trying to show that the come out doesn't hurt all that bad as long as you'll do some stuff from the don't hard six and an eight six deuce and all it is is just making a slight adjustment of just be willing to add a little money out there yo eleven. Now, can you go on runs of seven, 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 seven? Yeah, of course. Seven out. There we go. So we made a total of five dollars so far. If you think about it, on three hundred dollar bankroll, that's not bad. All right. So now I'm just going to leave that fifteen out there. We've already progressed to that level. Let's just leave it. Coming out, and we got a seven. <laughs> so <laughs> my my uh. <laughs> My definition of what I was trying to tell y'all is not coming true. The, the comeouts are killing us. I'm just joking. It's cost of doing business, guys. We're going to a quarter. And an eight. Really cool to catch that comeout winner. Guys, and on, on the don't, don't, don't count on comeout winners. Don't count on those. Three, one, four. Four, 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 three, one. All right, come on. Let's go. The six four ten got the other end. Let's get it. And a five three deuce. And another thing about the don't guys is hitting the point is nowhere near as common as people think. Four one five. <clears throat> it happens at less than fifty percent. Three one two three. So once you set a point, no matter which one it is, 
you're in a pretty good advantage. Four. Three, one, four. It's just about getting through that come out and trusting that it's going to be okay. Three, one, four. And that's what the slight progression of the bets does for you. So there's the eight. We got knocked off right when I was sitting there, right? Right when I was talking it. Talking the poop. All right. Remember, we don't got to win it all back at one time. So let's go to 40. Don't got to win it all back at once. Six, four, two. And once you get up like this, when you win on the don't, it might be time to drop down a little bit. You know, but at the early stages, there's no real reason to go down. 12, two sixes, double sixes. Here we go. Whoa. Dang, this is the most dice I've thrown out of this table in a long time. Generally, throwing from three feet away, I don't really do that much. Try this again. 12 again. Nice. Nice. Two 12s. Someone made 30 to 1 on that. Eight. Five, four, one, five. Four, one, five. Let's see if we can win something. And five, one, six. All right, so now we need a six, one, seven. Four, deuce, six. Four, deuce, six. Come on now. Oh, six, deuce, eight. I thought we were gonna get smacked. I thought we were gonna get punched in our head. Four, one, five. This is a long roll. This is the one problem about just playing only the dome. Is when it goes on a long roll, you miss out on all the money. Five, two, seven. That's why hybrid play is so effective. $40. All right, so we're going to take it down to a quarter. Remember, we're just trying to maintain. We're trying to gain a little ground. Beating the come out with, by progressing. And we got a four, three, seven. If these come outs uh, are not going as uh, as Jacob has wager indicated they would. And back up to 40. Not as I indicated. Back to back, of course. This is how it's gonna go, right? This is how it's gonna go when I run my mouth. All right, let's go to 75. Hey, three, one, two, three. That was a very helpful. This is why you progress, because if you do happen to get, we'll call it getting lucky here, you get a lot of the money you lost back, right? 75, take it all the way down to a quarter. So let's see where we're at. One, two, 225, 250, 275. So we were up $15. We could pull that and be up $15. So now you see... As long as you're willing to progress slightly, and progress up as you're losing, guys, you can get the money back. All right, let's see what happens with our quarter. We got an eight. And I don't, I don't think that was out of line, right? We've had three or four come out losers and one come out winner. So I feel like that's okay for us to get one. All right, let's see if we can catch a quarter winner here. Five. The last one was aces, guys. Aces, then a five. And an eight, so we get knocked off. Knocked off. The eight has been detrimental to us. It's been whooping our butts a little bit. But, again, we win here. Bang, we're right back in the profit. Let's see if this punches us on the come out again. It did not, it rolled a three. One, two, three. All right, so I think we've had four come out losers and two come out winners which is about right. 40, let's take it down to a quarter. So again, as you can tell, bankroll's doing fine. We're just maintaining life. There's a 10, there we go. Hard 10, two fives. Here, let's see if we can get a win here. Nope, right back as they call it a buckshot. I, I, I've, saw, I've talked about this a lot. They don't call it that around where I live. I've never heard that around here. But in Vegas, I heard it all the time. So I guess it's a thing. Not Just not around where I live. 
that sucks. I thought we were going to win that one. So we got 200. We're right at right at even. Let's go 40 bucks. All right, here we go. And we got a nine. Let's see if the nine is better to us. The eight and the ten have both smacked us. Let's see if the nine is any better. Oh, hard six. Again, as you can tell, I'm not too worried about the cutouts, right? Like, I'm just trying to set a dull point, gain the advantage. Easy six, four deuce. Once I gain the advantage, just rolling it out. Don't worry about the come out on the dough. At least I don't. I think it's a good uh, practice. If you're going to be a dough player of any kind, whether it's hybrid, whatever it is. Four. That last one was a three, I believe. Anyway, it's nowhere near a nine. Oh, seven out on the knock down the chip. Seven out. But anyways, what I was getting at is um, if you're going to be any kind of don't player, whether it's hybrid, whether it's you just dabble in the don't a little bit, if you're going to do any of it, remember the come out is not just this insurmountable um, opponent. You can beat it. You just have to do a couple things. Hedging isn't what you necessarily need to do. It's more about just progressing and making sure you're getting most of that money back. And seven on the come out. And I think that's our fifth come out seven. And yet, I'll, we'll lose this quarter and let me count up what we got. One, two. And we are up 15. Oh, no. We are up $20. Even after losing that corner quarter, even after four or five come out sevens, obviously we had a couple come out winners, but we're definitely heavy on the loser. But look, we're still winning. We're on up almost twenty-five dollars, and on a three hundred dollar bankroll, guys, twenty-five dollars is significant. So here we go. I mean, again, it's up to you, but you can go to forty again. You know, even if you lose, you're not down that much. Five one six, and again, guys. So I'm mostly just pointing this out for you shorter bankrolls that don't be afraid to play the dumb. It's not gonna crush you. Two three five four three seven. We finally beat a six or eight. That was nice. And guys, remember. The pass line, the, the point gets hit at less than 50% of the time. Less than 50%. So right now, this is all our profit right here. Plus that. So right now, we're up. It's 35. You know, we're up 60 bucks right now. $60 on a $300 bankroll, guys. That's 20%. We're up 20% at this moment right now. If we picked that green chip up and walked out, we would be up 20%. Not bad, right? Let's see if we can get up to a hundred bucks. We need to win 40 more bucks. Let's see what we can do. Nope. They come out seven, whacked us again. But boom, we lose this. You know what? We're still winning. We're still in the profit. The point is, is that all those come out sevens have happened, and we're still in the profit. We are still $35 to the good. Let's put this 35 out there. Aces. Now we just won thirty-five bucks. Let's make sure it's thirty-five. Yep, thirty-five. Let's uh, go down to a quarter. Back up. So what are we up now? Let's look. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty-five bucks. So sixty-five dollars. If we are seventy dollars, I guess. If we wanted to quit now, but we said we're going for. The even hundred, so let's make that thirty. If we win here, we'll get to our goal. Six, okay. We got a fight, a fight on our hands. All right, come on, seven. Let's go, seven. Four to six got smacked right out the gate. Buckshot, as they call it. I actually don't like the term at all. I actually, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't understand it. But whatever. <laughs> Let's put this all down there. 
Oh, on the seven, on the come out. We have been crushed by these come out sevens. Absolutely murdered. And yet, our bankroll is still intact. We could have left with $70. So, again, we're back to our bankroll, initial bankroll. At any time, we could have left with 50, 40, 70. Remember, we're only playing with $300. So, any of those numbers is a pretty good profit run. $70 would have been ideal. Come back, take that 70 bucks, do whatever. Maybe you go play roulette. I don't know. Whatever you do, buy yourself a steak. $70 gets you a good steak most places. Anyway, so let's do one fun thing at the end here. Oh, oh no. We're dropping stuff. One little fun activity. We're going to put all 300 down. On the note here, try to make a old double up. This is not part of the strategy, guys. Or this is not really. This is just me having fun. All right, stack it all up. Three hundred dollars. Here we go. Five. We're fighting the five. Five alive. All right. Here we go. Ah. Eight, five, trade, eight. We'll see how many times we can double this. If any, maybe none. Nine, five, four, nine. But we'll see if we can double up a few times just for fun. Funsies, there's a seven, baby. Five dudes, seven. It's going with three hundreds. Three hundreds. I'm going to trade it out, that big stack of chips, for another three hundred. All right. Right now, if you tilted and you did that, go home. You got your gift. If you tilted and did that, go home right now. Take your $300 and run for the door. All right, here we go. Then we double again. Oh, down the middle. Four the hard way. Good spot to be in. Oh, there's not an eight, guys. I rolled that. Come on, eight. let's go. There's an eight right there, six deuce. As they said when I was locked up, drop a pound. Drop a pound. Nine. Five. Three dudes. Michael Jordan. Two, three. Oh. Aces in both of them places. Let's go. Come on. Big ugly. Get out of there. Nine. Three. I'll give y'all some calls from prison one of these days. Uh, some of them are a little, a little ugly, so it'll have to be a special video. Three back to back. For just for example, a lot of times I would see a three and they'd go three crips in a coupe look for somebody to shoot. Then these are prison terms, guys. So don't hate on me or be mad at me. Hard eight. I'm just telling you. Telling y'all some stuff. Eight, five tray. Eleven, six, five. Six, four deuce. This is a long roll. We got our ugly 600 out there trying to double. Five, four, one. Oh, five one. I thought we had that one. Any if we roll a four, five, or six, I'm happy. Because then you can't roll a four. There's a nine, six tray. Oh, knocked our thing down. We got an eight out of it. Knocked our stack. Six hundo. Can we so right now all the light side players are crushing it? This is a killer roll. Yo! They're absolutely killing it. Around the edge, aces. And back-to-back -back horn numbers. Someone caught a 30 to 1 right there. Let's go. 5, 4, 1. 4, 1, 5 -er. Here we go. And aces. Dang, there's a ton of aces in these dice today. 
ton of aces. Let's give it seven out, finally. Whew, that was a long one. We made it through, though, 600. 600. This blue chip will be 500. Stack it up, go to 1,200. Can we do it again? Can we double up again? Oh, the hopper, six. I saw that ace. I was thinking maybe we can get a come out winner. Here we go. Can we beat the six? Five deuce. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. That's what we got. 500. 1,200. So let's trade this in. So we won 1,200. We're going to get 1,200. All right, we're going to 2,400. Probably table max in a lot of places. Here we go, coming out. Eight. Oh, our nemesis. We are fighting the nemesis. You can wave that off. Six, the hard way. Come here. Come on, eight. Or seven. Dang it. One, two, three. Let's get it. Seven. Uh, and ten. Six, four. Very nice. Nine, five, four, nine. Show the people at home. Here we go. Yo, eleven. 11, 11, 11. Here we go. Let's get it. One time. Ah, five. We need the ugly number. Seven out. There we go, baby. Seven out. That's 2,400. We're going to drop 100 from here and get 2,500. That's what we're going to do. We drop 100 off. Here we go. We're heading, we're, we got a car, a used car at risk. And we got an eight. We're back on the eight, the ugly eight. We beat you last time, eight. Let's just get a count here. 300. 45, 48 hundo. Yeah. Pucker the time. Six the hard way. Pucker, pucker, pucker. Six the easy way. Five, one, one, five. Patrick Mahomes. I've heard that a lot lately. Around here, the Patrick Mahomes, one, five. Five, that's two, three, Michael Jordan. Six the hard way. Ooh. Man, can we do it? Oh, come back here. Ten, five, five. Six, five, one, one, five, Patrick Mahomes. That's what they say, Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> it's funny around here. A lot of Chiefs fans around here. Three, one, four. Seven out, yes sir, yeah. So that's 48, let's drop 200 and get 5K. Drop 200 off. That's a boomer right there. Ninety six. Can we get it? Yo, 11. Smoked our 9,600. That was a cool run, though. A lot of fun there. Anyways, guys, thank you for your time. Again, if you are interested in helping out this archery club, this archery team, Cedar Ridge Archery Kids, and guys, I'm only helping out the elementary. There's a middle school and a high school, too. But I figure I can do what I can do. I can ask for all the help I can ask for. Anyways, guys, thank you for your time. Check the link in the description. 
Love you guys. Have a great day. This last little run was a good time.